Hey, hey everyone, it is Andrew here from IDB with the new 2016 MacBook Pro, and this time with that new Retina Touch Bar. We've already gone hands-on and given the initial first impressions on the 13-inch MacBook Pro without this new OLED Touch Bar, but now we have the new 15 model with the Touch Bar, so let's go ahead and see what really is different, what we think when we get to spend at least you know a couple of days with it, and is it really worth all of that? That money. So a few common things a lot of you probably have heard before, but this does charge via USB-C. There are actually four USB-C ports on all the ones that include the touch bar, and they have a new USB-C power brick. Many people are going to miss that MagSafe adapter, but it is kind of neat that you can charge through any of the four USB-C ports. You aren't limited to just one in that top left hand side. The new trackpad is also absolutely gorgeous. I love how much room there is here, especially work in, in video or media projects. This is so nice to have and work with. The keyboard has also been improved, which we did a whole video on that and you should check it out, but it does work better. It does feel better than the Retina MacBook, though it does not have quite as much movement or tactility as the old Chiquit style that Apple used to ship a couple years ago. I'm still adjusting the touch bar, but some things are more useful than others, particularly Touch ID. It's fantastic not only to get into my MacBook, but also to unlock applications like 1Password. It's so much better than having to type out that long password or make purchases via the App Store. While I will still be interested to see what developers do with it, it's really nice how you can customize it so you can really make it as useful as you want. The Retina display has also been slightly improved with now supporting a wide color gamut and even brighter in the past and it's definitely noticeable. This is also quite a workhorse. The 15 inch is definitely more powerful than the 13, but it is easily able to slide through 4K video with really barely even a hiccup. Then again, for a computer this expensive, I'd really hope that performance would be top notch. Speakers also sound great. They sound better than in the past. It's a lot thinner than before. The headphone jack stuck around for at least one more iteration. And I even noticed that the fans were a lot quieter than they were in the past. So these are some general first impressions after spending a few days with the new Retina MacBook Pro. Let us know what you think down in the comments and let's keep the conversation a little bit tame. Please go ahead and subscribe to the channel so we can keep coming out with more great videos. Otherwise, until next time, this is Andrew for IDB.